Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 16 of my Alpha 17 experimental let's play for seven days to die. <laughs> um, I was here in the cage um, uh, destroying these uh, quarter blocks, uh, quarter section blocks and replacing them with the poles. Um, I haven't upgraded them to cement yet because I have the cement down there um, making. It might actually be done. We can go look. Uh, I did bring some water with me but no food. Oh yeah, we were checking the cement. I think I got it all out of here. Uh, the bad thing about me doing that was that we didn't really get a lot of stone for our next batches of concrete, but I would definitely like to get this finished up first before we do anything else. There's only these two sections left. I would like to go through and upgrade what we have done so far to concrete so that could be oh we got company oh it's a dog I think it's dead already uh, let's go try to get that it's almost daylight can't pass up for oh he's right there by the landmine right where to get him Wow, well, only got 20 meat from him. That's okay. It was free. It was free. Um, also, I did cook up some... I harvested our crops up top. I know you probably haven't seen that. Uh, we got the chrysanthemum full. We're only a couple of short on the mushrooms. Um, cotton and aloe vera are full. Um, struggling with uh, the coffee and the blueberries at the moment. We only have we have three blueberries now. Uh, the coffee should go a lot faster now. We can make at least five. Oh, excuse me. At least five every time at least five seeds every time we harvest now so that should get uh much quicker the yucca and the corn and the goldenrod is not quite finished we need three more and then we're good uh everything's starting to produce now well most things oh where are you bud i heard a vulture There it is. Uh-huh. He's going to be harassing me all day, isn't he? Let's just wait and see if he'll come. <sighs> yeah, these guys are very frustrating. They don't ever come when you're ready. He can't get to us in here anyway. So, yeah, I did make a little bit of food. Let's see, do I have anything left in here? Just some extra water. Uh, I think I was keeping that on me. Let's throw these in there. Is animal fat even used for any food? I don't even know. It's used in a can of sham. But mainly torch and tallow. And I guess the tallow you use to make candles uh, that can be placed on tables, I guess. Uh, so, I guess technically it is used in some food stuffs. But I did make a little bit of food. Um, I probably won't make the cornbread anymore because it seems like a waste of water. It takes a water bottle to make it. Um, 
So I'd much rather save my water bottles for things like the stews and the chowders that are much more effective. Uh, corn on the cob also takes water. It's slightly a little bit better than the cornbread. It's got one more max stamina, but again, it takes a water bottle. So that's uh, not very good. I probably won't ever make those again. I made a vegetable stew. I had two extra mushrooms. <laughs> and two isn't enough to make a seed, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a vegetable stew. In Alpha 16, the vegetable stew was pretty terrible food to make. Uh, it was like, why even bother? Uh, it's, it's still, it's not as good as the meat stew, but it's pretty decent. It's better than um, bacon and eggs. Oh, oh, no, actually it's not. The max stamina on bacon and eggs is 34, or no, 36, I think. Um, and I think bacon and eggs gives 18 health back. So it's it's still better than the vegetable stew, but again, the vegetable stew it doesn't take meat. So uh, that's good. It's good that they boosted that up a little bit, but still didn't make it as good as like, um, you know, the meat stew or the bacon and eggs. I, I like that um, a lot. And I made up uh, some yucca juice and some red tea because we had extra for those because those guys are now full and producing. I made the corn just so I could see because we got a bunch of corn. Um, like uh, basically you can make corn on the cob and it's made in all the different stews and the sham chowder. And we've made all of these so we know uh, exactly what they are. Corn on the cob and cornmeal. I think I want to make a cornmeal just so I can see what that's used in now. Because I believe it's also used in blueberry pie and fish tacos. Um, oh, we have that recipe and we have some salmon. And it only takes two cornmeal and a can of salmon. How many cans do we have? Oh, we have two. So we can see what the fish tacos are like. Um, Let's go ahead and make uh, three more of those cornmeals. And then we can cook up the salmon and have a look at the fish tacos. I don't think they're as good. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't get me. They're not as good as like, um, let's do this. Oh, it requires a grill. Doggone it. How, how can you make a taco on a grill? Okay, so uh, it shouldn't take us long to make a grill. We have an anvil. Uh, so I think, yeah, all we need is like one piece of fuel. That's going to be way overkill, but we got some stuff to burn in there. Actually, let's go ahead... Put, uh, put some extra stuff in there. We got our one jar. <laughs> our one jar that we cleared out. Um, I actually would like to, to make some more jars. Um, because we're kind of low. I used some jars to make the Molotov cocktails. We only have like 25. Now we have 26. Put the grill in there. Get our fish tacos uh, cooking. Oops. There we go. Now we can see what those are going to be like. What did I have? Uh, I'm going to put the bullet tips away. And put that, throw that little bit of soil up. All right, let's look at the fish tacos. They're done. Ooh, so they're like uh, in between. They're not as good as like the sham chowder, but I think they're a little bit better than these guys because they give you 40 health and 46 max stamina. 
and uh, yeah they give a little bit more health um, no water because there wasn't any water involved in making it so that um, yeah that's pretty nice I like it uh, it's still dependent on how many cans of salmon you find Ooh, I hear is that a screamer Uh, it used to be a screamer, I think, over there. Yeah, they have so little hit points. Um, we shouldn't ever really have a problem with screamers as long as we don't, <laughs> they don't see us. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to, I guess the, I'm going to eat it. We're not down any health. I oh, actually, let's eat these first because they're crap. They're not worth a bottle of water. I'm not going to be making those again. That'll give us a little boost up. Um, I think we can use the, the chip. Can we make the corn dogs yet? I don't think we can use... Um, this one yet yeah that's that's like tier four or five for that one for that recipe and I think actually the chili dogs is it looks like is um, I don't know what stats those have I've never made them I didn't get to the cooking uh, that high up uh, so it might be worth since this takes uh, ten rotting flesh to make one hobo stew and it's not really I don't know it's not worth the fuel it is to burn it uh, compared to making a meat stew which it's exactly got have the exact same stats as meat stew so if we were to make like 10 cans of sham I think that would be worth way more than one of those because uh, the cans of sham only take one but I think it takes a bone so yeah that wouldn't I don't think I want to waste my bones on cans of sham I would rather make the glue out of it uh, it's also used in the fort bites so I don't really know what those are, but they increase your fortitude and give you 50% damage resistance. So that's a narcotic, I guess. And it takes a vitamin and five blood bags. Uh, so, hmm. So maybe we'll hold on to these um, rotting flesh. Because the hobo stew, I mean, we have plenty of meat, I think. Uh, we just need to get, yeah, we got 233 meat. We just need to get more corn and potatoes. We got four there. Let's go ahead and uh, be able to make like two meat stew. So let's get two of those. Uh, see, in the steak potato meal, it takes 10 meat, but it's not as good as... Uh, it's it's sort of on par with the bacon and eggs. So in my opinion, it's not worth using the extra meat because you don't get twice the value from it. And uh, yeah... Oh, those are going to take a little bit longer than our burn time is there. Alright, let me put these back. So that'll give us a little bit more food. I heard somebody out here. Let's go ahead and eat one of those uh, meat stews. I thought we did. It's going to top off our water, I think, and give us a lot of food. Oh my goodness. Let's go deal with this horde. It's, oh my god. No, 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 no. We're not open. Come out. Come out. Please. Oh. 
Oh, he's getting back up. Oh, I missed. Either, um, that's a Hawaiian guy at 1200, or there's a cop in there and I'm scared. A, that vulture is still circling. Oh my god. Maybe they'll pound on that rock a little bit. Yeah, there's some Hawaiian dudes. Oh, did I just clobber him? Oh no, he's getting back up. Oh, he's a little bit... Seems shorter all of a sudden. I missed. Hear that bird. Oh, how am I missing you, dude? That is wrong. There's a doggy over there. Come on down. Let's have a little chat. Oh, Holy crap, look at that. That was a that was a buck? A doe? Is it doe? points to spend. I just haven't... I'm so flustered from uh, the Horde Knight, really. I hear a burning man. Here's a chick. That burning guy is all the way over there and yet I can hear him. A little bit different angle of attack there. It's so hard to get used to that. Sayonara, sister. I really would like a Machiti. I think we should go maybe check out the trader today uh, as well. I want to get some sand. Whoa! I want to get some sand so we have plenty to uh, make up more concrete so I don't have to because it's so much easier to gather sand than it is to gather rock because especially in the desert I can get um, I can get the sand way easier. yeah they've destroyed a couple of these spikes. I think I put my spikes up. Look, we got like 39 more meat off of those couple of animals. That's awesome. Definitely worth uh, the outing. Got another level from the horde that we just slaughtered. That was awesome. Ah! Uh, I just picked up a block. Yeah, I would definitely want to get those upgraded because the hordes are just freaking, um, yeah, you don't go there. It's a little bit awkward getting used to where everything is up here. Uh, I'm sort of getting used to it. Alright, so what I want to do is maybe tear down a couple of levels at our um, 
little outpost, if you would call it. So maybe we'll get like, uh, I don't know, 15 ladders and some more wood frames. Let's do like, I don't know, 75. And we'll... And let's go head over to get the sand because we're gonna need way more concrete than what we have way more so like I really like how let's make sure we have no zombies up top because we don't want them uh, sneaking up on us I did bring some water so that should help Boink. Okay, so we're probably gonna like teeter totter this back and forth. One shot power attack. Uh, so this isn't really getting support from anything besides uh, that. So we're gonna be a little bit careful here. And go ahead and uh, put those extra supports over there. We should be good now. So what I want is to sort of get uh, wood here so that we can be protected from the sun a little bit. Look, it looks like... Um, The dirt and the sand that's above us is protecting us from the sun. Because look, we don't have the, the heat buff. I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be a thing. But yeah, we're going to go down five. I want to see how deep the sand is. How far? I, I don't know. Does it go down to bedrock? All the way? This is going to be the floor. <laughs> oh, that's my cat. Uh, she sometimes hollers, I need love. Love me. Adore me. So let's get those other two ladders here. And we'll just sort of clear out little bit of this uh, so we can get around to the other side that ladder all the way up there that's funny okay so I want um, like the ceiling here so it's given a little bit of support <laughs> uh, that's my cat I don't know if you Oh, I think I already dug that out. She's like, uh, does anybody love me? I love you, Cleo, come here. You know I love you. <laughs> She's talking. Come over here. I will give you love. Oh, right on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, pause, hug for, hug for Cleo. Everybody give Cleo a hug. Oh, she's so cute when she lets me hug her. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Thank you, Cleo, for giving me hugs. Yep, she's done. She just gave some hugs. Just a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Uh, so we don't really need to do the floor over here. I just want to get a little bit on the other side. Maybe go down a little uh, so that maybe the, the zombies will be less likely to uh, hear our sounds if we're further down. I don't really know how that works. I mean... And this is good because we're also getting stone. Ooh. Get up there. Oh, I knew they were going to get a pup. Oh, he went down. No, come back. Don't hit my stuff. That is wrong. Get that damaged. My structure, my beautiful, beautiful structure. Whew. See, that's what, uh, it's going to be really hard to get up and down out of here. If a horde wanders over, oh, I'll be in so much trouble. Okay, so let's, uh... Cleared. That's good. Okay. So we want to go down here. We already have that block, so that's good. Uh, I want to sort of solidify the floor around the ladder. Like we did on the, the other two levels. I don't know. I don't really know about how smart the zombies are. Are they gonna... If I'm like uh, sneaking down there at night, are they, gonna, are they gonna be able to hear me from all the way up there? I don't know. Because I would really like to be able to gather through the night the sand. I, I hate that I'm doing this... Uh, you know, while I'm recording, but I need the sand and I, I don't want to come over here in the middle of the night and do it. Because <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> I did that once and, you know, usually I would spend a couple of hours uh, wasted just sitting there because there was a zombie above and all I could do is sit there and stealth. Uh, otherwise he would hear me and, and start breaking things and I didn't want that to happen. We gotta get that right there. And now we need to go out one so we can place these other two ladders. So yeah, I'm just curious how far down do we need to go before the zombies, uh, you know, can't really detect us. Or is, is distance a thing? Do they automatically just uh, know where I'm at and come after me? I think the horde does, but I don't think a normal zombie should be that smart. Um, I don't know. There's a debate on, on how smart can the zombies be and still be considered a zombie. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on, I would say, uh, how smart was it before it was a zombie? It shouldn't be able to be any smarter than the human that it was before it became a zombie. Uh, like, 
maybe the cops might be smarter um, because, you know, they had to at least have <laughs> some sort of logic system when dealing with, you know, criminals. They had to be smarter than the criminals in order to catch them. So, yeah, let's say that might have something to do with it. Their brain shouldn't be uh, any more intelligent than it was when it was a human brain. That would make sense to me. Uh, <laughs> but my logic doesn't always count. Um, I, I tend to um, think a little bit differently. I don't know why. My brain is just weird. I guess I always have the mindset that um, I am different because I was so different from my family when I was growing up. Um, it's always supposed to be the smart one. And so everybody treated me differently and uh, I don't know that I was all that much smarter than them. I think my logic is sound. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Um, should a zombie be smarter than the brain that it started out with? I don't think so. Uh, I think it should possibly be even less intelligent than it started out with because its brain is decaying brain is decaying. It's uh, it shouldn't be as good as it was when it was alive, right? Um, I would think. Okay, so we've still, we've still got sand here. And I'm a little bit topsy-turvied around. Um, let's go ahead and get our little sand ceiling bit here. That'll lend support a little bit further out. I'm not sure how far we're going to have to dig out to um, lose that structural uh, bonus from the wood. I just don't know. Uh, I don't really know how how much um, stability does the sand have? And then I could uh, you know, make an educated guess as to how many blocks I can dig uh, before it will save in. That would be nice to know, but I can't pick up a sand block. Can't, um, is there a way to craft sand? Oh, you can. Uh, but that's just like rocks, only much smaller. Okay, it's going to take 12, but I want to make it just so I can look at it. It'll take a few seconds, but then we can see like the Okay, it's got a mass of 10, but a horizontal support of four. Um, that means it shouldn't even support one block, right? But this is considered gravel. So let's see if that's any different. Oh, that was surprisingly low. It's the same. 200 hit points. This only has 100, though. Um, I think this is actually... Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and... 
Make those solid. Let's go on what direction we're facing south. Okay, this is towards the desert, so that's good. We'll be digging into the desert. That's what we want. What I want to do is hit it and see how many hit points it has. This has a hundred, but they were both the same. The, the gravel and the sand has the same amount of support. I mean, with with information like that, I would think that um, it could only support, it can't even support itself. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. It doesn't seem like it should be able to support one block next to it, not even itself. So... Um, what that means is, let's say we take this little section and, um, we dig out here, 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 uh, here, here, and there, and then there. Uh, Yeah, I thought that would fall, honestly. Because I didn't think that the block next to it should be able to support it. Um, since there's only one other block supporting it. And the block, uh, it, it can't support. It can only support four, which is different. It's like less than half of ten. <laughs> So I would think that that wouldn't be able to support the block next to it. So it's only supporting... See, I don't understand that. Uh, what's that fertile level? So you could plant stuff on grass. That's interesting. We should look at dirt and see uh, maybe that burnt ground is more fertile than the other ground. That would be interesting, but that's for something else. Look, we've almost gotten a thousand. Um, let's see. What happens if I take the block underneath? Yeah, I don't understand that type of math. I thought my understanding was that the horizontal load was based on mass. Like, um, let's look at the wood frames. Like, the mass is 5, the horizontal support is 40, so that means it could support eight, 8 other blocks of that type. Uh, if it's wood. That's my understanding. Um, so if you go by that, with it only being four horizontal support and ten mass, it should not be able to support itself. So how does that work? Uh, it does, this does do vertical support two but this doesn't have a vertical support on it. it just has horizontal support i don't understand that i would think that this number would be like 10 or 20. i heard a zombie Come on, I shouldn't have to jump. 
have to get up. I don't want to waste my... Ooh, that sounds like a storm. Maybe that's what I heard. That's where I dug out. <laughs> I just, I, I put some wooden supports over there. So I didn't know how far I would, uh, I could dig before it caved in. I'm just a little bit scared to, uh, to dig down there very far without knowing how much it can support. But it looks like a three by three tunnel is, um, is good. Even a five by five tunnel. Let's check that. Uh, Uh, so if we go out one more on each side and I don't know how much of that is being supported by our wood here in the middle All right, so we know, we know that five is safe. Let's go out. Um, go out a bit. This way, away from, let's get rid of this stuff. Okay, so I want to go out this way, but I want to go, uh, the wood should support up to eight blocks, but no, it should only support like four of these because they have a mass of 10. So it would support eight wood, but it should only support four of these. Maybe we don't need to know what the sand would support. Maybe we should just focus on what we know the wood can support. And by that we can go and make at least a somewhat educated guess as to how far in between we need to go. So if each wood block supports four on each side, we could make... Um, our wood blocks eight blocks apart but we might want them closer than that so that it overlaps a little bit um, so that because if we go out eight if we go eight away from the first wood block it's going to collapse before we get to that eighth block so we might want to just go and say have five let's uh because five seems to be an okay uh number for the sand so let's try that how far one two oh let's get our wood frames over here one two three four five so we're five away from the wood but technically we're only a couple away from that one one, two, three, four, five. So um, on the sixth block, so one more back, right there. We could put some supports in the corner. Like right here. Let's uh let's check our thirstation level. I bet we're thirsty. 62, yeah, let's go ahead and drink that. So in like this corner, the sixth, we 
can put our wood blocks. I, I don't even think we need to upgrade those. Because they support the same whether they're upgraded or not. They support the same amount of weight and mass and they're they're the same weight and mass uh, whether they're solid or wood frames. So that should be we should go like five and then on the sixth one place the block. And I think we'll we'll be good. So that's going to be <laughs> like how I dig it out, I guess. How much do we have? We have 1,300. And we almost have 2,000 rocks. Um, so let's see if we can go another... five out from these if it's still stable uh, for the sixth one. <laughs> What's going to be scary is having to stand in the middle of it and hope it doesn't fall. Oh, this is such good sand and rocks. I love it. It's uh, it's a lot easier to. I should have brought some metal with me. I I never think of that because uh, mini. I don't think of those things. So this is three. Now we need to go here, and I think we can reach three from there as well. Okay, stand back a little. Can we hit that one? No. Uh, it's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least, once we get to the end of it. It'll be the corners that I think that'll go if it goes. Those very far corners. <laughs> Let's do those last. Oh my god. I wonder how bad the cave in would be. Like, how far up would it go? Would it. the whole. would it create a hole? Oh, there's an airdrop. I think we will take time out of our busy schedule to go do that. Oh, we should have left this other side whole. Um. And it possibly could have supported the one corner. It looks okay. It's okay. So that's pretty much um, what I'm gonna be doing. I need to get lots of sand and this as you can see this is like way easier to gather sand than it is to gather the rock. Man. And I'm telling you I think uh this will be the perfect time for us to go back up because our shovel is almost broke. Uh, we need a little bit of food. Let's get our weapon ready in case there's some zombies up there. Nope, no zombies. I don't see any even around. Okay. Awesome. Um, where is the, it's over that way. Let's go see if we can find that airdrop because we got plenty of room. We got plenty of room. We can run over there real quick and then dump everything off. Ah, I almost had you. Come back, chicken. Come back here.
lucky you're going the way. Oh, there's a core block. I wonder if you get more if you use a knife on this. Oh, I actually got a uh, animal fat on that. I don't think I get that with the with the hatchet. I usually just get like a couple of bones. It looks like we got to go down there. Is that a car? Let's go. Oh, there's our chicken. He's leading us. Um, and there's a zombie over there. Oh, nine bullets. Yeah. Take that, sucker. I want. I really would like a machidi. Oh, there's an egg. There's tons of rocks over here. Oh my gosh. Garbage. Hey, that's, that's crap. Ah! Dude! How many times I gotta hit you? Oh my god, why are there so many zombies over here? Oh, look, a stone. Garbage. Nothing. It cannot be garbage if there's nothing in it. And what did I get 85 experience from? Was that for looting the garbage? Gotcha! hard to, to hit that guy. <laughs> I can't hit it. There we go. Did we get nine meat from it? That was worth it. Uh, we really don't need to pick up any of the yucca or the aloe because we got um, we got our farm. I got enough aloe uh, where when I harvest it and I got enough cotton to make exactly 10 first aid bandages every time I harvest it, so that's good. Man, how far away is this? That's not too bad, I don't guess. We got a couple of zombies over here. We are hot. Uh, but... Uh, we do have our yucca juice on us. But I don't have any food, and boy, look at... Oh, he died. He died standing up. I guess they all died standing up. Okay. Oh, a bird's nest. Look at all of them. An egg. Yes! Oh. Barely to. Okay, let's look. 85 experience for looting garbage. That ain't bad. What do we get for uh, looting bird's nest? 85 experience. Cool. So, 10 bird's nests is more than a zombie. <laughs> but they don't respawn and the zombies do. Okay, I guess I should go towards... Maybe you don't have a little food in it. Um. Because <laughs> we're getting pretty low now. Let's check the third station. 76. Um. I think that's, that's okay. There's some water. I'll probably take a little dip in there. Cool myself off. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, so we don't have the... We don't have the heat buff while we're in the water, but I think as soon as we get out of the water... Um, and I didn't see... Uh, I didn't see the crate under the water. I'm not stopping to fight you until I get out of the water. Oh, he's coming. He adjusted his trajectory <laughs> to intercept. Um, but I don't want to fight him underwater. In case they drop a loot bag, then we don't have to loot it under the water. Yeah, as soon as we got out, we are hot. We should be really close. Okay. <laughs> it was very unlikely that they would drop a loot bag, but it's hard to get a headshot with this thing. like a weird reach. It's so hard to hit him in the head because his head is angled back. Like, I don't know. Like he's sort of sticking his nose up. Oh, look at those bird's nests. I'm so hot. I can feel it slowing me down. Okay. I see it. I see the crate over there now. Awesome. Hope it has some good stuff for us. I must loot the garbage! <sighs> Here we go. Cross your fingers over something good. <gasps> Two AK-47s! 22 bullets! I mean, the, the rest is... We got a backup marksman rifle now. That's kind of awesome. Yeah. I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, let's go around the lake this time. It takes a little bit longer to swim through it, I think. Oh! Maybe not. It did not have any food for us. We got that raw meat, but I don't want to eat the raw meat. Oh, this is so scary. Should we get... Let's get that garbage. Garbage! Oh, that was worth it. Got a pain pill. I wonder if you can make the pain pills. A coffee seed! Oh, that's gonna be awesome! Oh! I totally broke that sand. Sorry! I'm not gonna go down for you, mister. I'm gonna be ever going forward. I'm not gonna worry about that one slot of encumbrance. That shouldn't slow us down very much. You're going the way I need to go, so... Push you down the hill, lady. sort of get our stamina back. That's what you get for hitting me all while ago, mister. It's not nice. Not nice to hit other people. You know, that was like a debate I was having with my husband. Um, you know, you shouldn't resort to violence 
to solve your problems. And he's like, well, what if they don't give you a choice? I'm like, but that shouldn't be like the go-to thing. You have a conflict. Oh, look, we have to kill everybody because there's a conflict. Aha! Another gore block. Okay, let's see. I think it's definitely better to use a knife because you get a fat. You get a fat. Uh, you don't get that. There's a, did we go to this little section of town? I don't know, but you get a you get an animal fat, and I didn't I didn't see that I was ever getting that using using the axe. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, it's a lot harder to hit the head with the with the downward angle like that. Oh, we got a snake over here, um, but we need to drink because we're so hot. <laughs> I'm surprised I hit him, honestly. So it looks like nine for the small animals, 20-ish for the big guys like a dog or a deer. Maybe not as much for the doe, though, I don't think. Because, you know, that just makes sense. It's a little bit smaller than the buck. Do-do-do! I see garbage over there, but... Man. I'm tempted... I, I do not like having the limits on my inventory and being encumbered and the like. I do not like that. Um, so I'm tempted to spend the point. Oh, look at you, Jumpy Big Jumperson. home and go put our weapons away I need to start uh, I'd like to get a machete I think if I had a machete it would feel like it was a strong enough weapon we might um, loot one of these nearby POIs next episode uh, I don't know. That one might be too close to our trader to be able to loot it, but we'll, we've already seen that one. Uh, it is good to loot. They got lots of cabinets upstairs and a safe downstairs. Uh, so we know that's going to be nice. It might have some guns or ammo in it, uh, which would be really nice. Uh, so maybe we'll go for that, and if we have enough time, we'll try to hit up that other one, too. I don't want to just build, but at the same time, I really think we need to get... A, we got a lot of work to do on this base to deal with a 21-day horde. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we got some meat and stuff. I know we need to put over here. We got another coffee seed. I need to go, uh, maybe I'll just plant that tonight. We got some eggs, yum. I need to, rotten flesh down. Oh, I forgot the fat. We got some ammo stuff. Ammos. Lots of bird feathers. Um, this is gonna go down. Oh, I forgot to put those glass jars. Where did I get the? Oh, but from I I drank a drink. So that's gonna go down. We got some stuff to put in our medical area. Oh, and I forgot the leather and the paper. 
that goes over here. Oh, and the guns, the guns, the guns, the guns. Look at that. We got another level two AK. Forty-seven. Excellent. Oh, let's get some food. Do we have anything in here? We got a couple of meat stew. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and eat that meat stew. We need the 47 max stamina for sure. And then we'll put our glass bottles over there. And that should top off our thirst station as well. Um, I'm probably going to wait until the night time to plant that. Uh, so it's uh, like on the same time as the others. Otherwise I'll be looking at it and going, oh, I can't harvest it. So I'm glad we got at least this center part done. Oh, I better shut that. So we'll put those in. Oh, sheesh. I hear you up there, but I need to, I need to sort my inventory first. Can you just hold on a minute? There we go. We got 1,700 sand from our little excursion with direction. Oh. I see you guy here, let me help you. How'd you get through? Oh, how did I freaking miss? You. Uh, I guess there's a pathway open over there. I need to go check that out. Uh, did I have any more cement down here? I don't think I did. No, dang it. Okay, well we have the sand for a couple of batches. No, I think only one. Not quite too. Not quite too. And that's how you be anal. <laughs> oh, we need to go repair that shovel, man. It is Jack? I forgot. Because it, it wasn't on my hot bar. Um, I think we need to, to take a second out and look at the skills. Because I think 50, what's it, 50 where steel opens up? Let's look. Hammer Forge, Steel Worker, Int Level 8. Oh, it might be 60. Yeah, it's 60. Dang it, I was hoping... <laughs> so while we're here, we could craft us a mini bike or go straight to the motorcycle if we put two points in it. I've never made a motorcycle before. I did have a mini bike in my last game, so it would be interesting to see what the difference is between the mini bike and the motorcycle. Uh, but I don't know what it takes so I'm not sure if I should do it if I'm gonna be able to make this stuff um, I would definitely would like to do this we do have a couple of tier 2 schematics 
I don't know about the first aid kits. We could probably make them. Let's look. Do, do we even have first, first aid kit? You have to make those in the chemistry station, which we have. We can get blood bags, brain alcohol bandages. It's the duct tape. <sighs> duct tape is used in all the important things. Man. Uh, so we really need bones because that's duct, ta uh, duct tape is used in first aid kits, repair kits, um, a lot of the explosives, the explosive devices like landmines, you've got to use duct tape in those. Oh man. You know what I want to do is I want to take um, some of this concrete and go to our mixer and make some poles for the exterior. Wet concrete poles. So let's favorite that so we can get rid of all that stuff. I can think. Um, what I want to do is focus on the corners. The, the corner block itself, it looked like they didn't even touch the corners very much. Uh, but I want to reinforce those and at least the block next to them because that looked like where they were mainly concentrating was right on that corner because they were making a beeline for me and they were coming to the, the most direct route which meant the corners. That's where they broke through. They did break other blocks but I think if I do the corner and maybe two blocks out that would at least allow us uh, so that would be three, six, if I did the bottom two, that'd be six, 12 per corner. So that'd be 48. So let's make 48 of those. Um, and I might even want to go three up. That's a little bit tougher math because um, that's 18 per corner. If it was 16, it would be 64. So it'd be plus two uh, for each corner. So that'd be eight. So 64 plus eight would be 72. We have enough. Let's do it because uh, <laughs> I think I might eventually go all the way up this way we have a little bit to upgrade the inside part still. How are you doing over here? Got enough to make a hundred. Okay. Um, does this thing still need to burn? Yes. let that burn for a little while and once it gets done with the clay I'll split that stack up we got 6400 iron how many iron bars is that gonna make 64 well yeah duh uh, but we do have enough clay to make it now see the that's like nine for each corner so that's 36 And then there's 11 times 3, 33 for each side. Oh, oh, you're killing me. Let's maybe make the 36 for the corners and we'll do it step by step. We'll do the four corners and then we'll do a side. That'll be 33 for a side. And then that way maybe it won't seem like <laughs> it's horrible of an ordeal if we do it in little steps like that littler steps. Okay, looks like we did this. Okay. We got some over here. And there. And one. Uh, I'll probably finish this off in the night. Tonight, so we don't have to do that on camera. 
Okay, so let's go out and tr uh oh, we don't have the stuff on us. Okay, well, while that's making, we do need some more stone because we gotta have, uh, we got a thousand sand and a thousand stone down there cooking, turning into uh, cement. And we need 2,000 more, oh, hello. Uh, we need 2,000 more stone to make that into concrete. <laughs> So, uh, let's go work on, um, Big Daddy over here. Oh, I can't get up. I got up last time that way. So maybe we'll just, uh, whack at this a little bit. Let's go ahead and, what is our thirst at? Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we're almost full, so we're not going to waste that. But I am down on my max health, so I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these guys now that we have them come in. Get some of that max health back. To fill it up. And we'll just whack on this for a little bit. See if we can get a, a thousand stone real fast. Uh, we need like 800 more. At the least, I'd like to have some more stone, uh, cobblestone to make some more cobblestone rocks to, uh, uh, repair anything above and maybe upgrade some of, uh, the regular flagstone so that it'll be ready to get upgraded to concrete, uh, once we... Once we have a surplus and we get done with the ground outside and get done with the reinforcements on the cage, I want to start working up, uh, up into the base and start upgrading the stuff and things. Upgrading all that stuff to concrete on the inside. I'm really happy that they haven't they haven't been going for my my fence. I, I really like this design, but it does have the flaw that once they get one pathway through, they're not taking damage from those spikes anymore because they'll just single file go through that. Uh, which I think is okay. We'll figure out we'll figure out a way to outsmart these guys. Uh, cause I honestly think I'm going to put a pit, <laughs> I'm going to put a pit at that, at the corners. So they come in, they fall in the pit. I don't know how that will work if I need to make some of those false boards or if they'll even do it. I don't know. I don't know how the zombie AI works, uh, but we'll see. Maybe if it's not too big of a drop, they'll go right in. As long as they're trying to go towards the corner, I think they'll take that route. Uh, so we'll see. I think what I'd have to do though is I'm gonna have to, we might have to wait until um, we get our base solidified with the concrete. Oh, look at that. I think she just croaked. So if you, <laughs> while you have your bow drawn, if you scroll back, uh, scroll off. I, I guess if if you're drawn, if I push one. Awesome. Okay. That's good to know. So I can just push the button because it's a little bit awkward to um, use the mouse wheel while while my button is... Uh, I don't know why I'm not power attacking. Holy... <laughs> What's wrong with me? 
How are we doing? Oh, we're so close. Oh, that was totally worth it. You get tons of rock from this. Looks like five a hit. I was a little bit disappointed last time when we spent that point on Minor 69er and we actually wound up getting like eight to ten less. No, we're getting 196. It was more like five or six less than the previous Minor 69er. So that was a little, a little weird. A little bit weird. So I kind of like it that um, we have the bigger food that does the 40 max stamina, but man, I hate getting down that low. That's a lot of stamina that you're missing out on. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth it. I don't know that it's worth it for the thirst because I've seen that each drink gives you so much. Uh, I think it's like a smaller... Ooh, level up! I love leveling up mining. We got five skill points. Uh, I just don't know whether I want to go more into melee or start um, going more into perception to the marksmanship. I'm really unsure about what I want to do or if I want to put them more into the agility line to increase my stamina. Maybe do some fortitude to increase my hit points. <sighs> There's so many points that I need to spend. I, I don't know. Do I just uh, higgledy piggledy put them in? Put them in all of it to increase it a little bit? Am I going to have extra skill points? What's the level cap? Um, And these are things I don't know. I don't know what the level cap is for Alpha 17, if there is one. If there's going to be a limit to the amount of points I have. And, you know, once if if I find out what the, the level limit is and how many skill points I have available, that might change the path that... I want to go so maybe they should have like a way to reset your skill points uh, you know not something that you would just do all the time but like a one-time thing where you could reset your skill points maybe you've got to do a quest from the trader uh, or something like that to reset your skill points uh, I don't know but that would, uh, yeah, that would definitely change my motivation in where I, at where I want to put my points and how how many points I want to put where would make those um, goggles a lot more valuable. Uh, the the head slots that give you like the to perception like if you're a hundredth level um, and you only put eight points into a line you can uh, like uh, what do we got now before we have the perception goggles on so I could go to eight in something and have it uh, give me the extra two on, on the end once I'm level 100. So that that makes those that much more valuable. I would think, but that's like only for perception, agility, and int, and then looting. What do I have on right now? I have the perception goggles on. I probably should... Since I'm mainly out and about during the day meleeing, the perception isn't really doing me all that good. So I should probably make sure I switch back to my goggles and make sure I switch over to uh, those perception uh, sunglasses, like for the horde, when I know I'm going to be doing a lot of ranged damage. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I really wish I had uh, the nerdy glasses. I haven't found a set of nerdy glasses yet, uh, so I could get the two int as well. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we got a little bit more than what we needed, but that's awesome. We can uh, go repair a little pickaxe there. Spirit reject. You can hear those forges burning down there. I really need to make sure I keep that shut up there. Like, so that I don't, in the middle of the horde, just leave it open where they can... Oh, look! we got 28. 28 of those bars. we got some more iron we can throw in there. Uh, let's get... Oh, we got like 300 more cement we can make. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I, w I hate wasting all that, um iron but it's, it's not wasting it's using it it's a lot of iron man a lot, a lot of iron I wish these favorites were like would save per uh, crafting station instead of like the forge specifically like it would be for this forge, I would want all my forged iron and stuff over here. And then for this one, I would just want like the cement. Uh, but it, it's not like that. Um, let's wait until it topped out at a 500 there. One more tick. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, there we go. That's good. So, looks like there's another 500 left in there to get. I'm kind of just dicking around trying to wait for those last two to get done and we could put in uh, the corners but I think what I want to do is I want to make some flagstone blocks uh, so let's get that going while we're waiting for those to make uh, actually let's go ahead and grab them because I need to go up to get the, the clay 20 seconds uh, so, I think that's what we're going to wind up doing for the rest of the episode, is uh, putting these up. Oh, look. We can split that up now. The clay is in there. One, and done. Okay. That'll get our corners done. <laughs> Might want to eat a little something. It's 19 o'clock. Oh, man almost time to call the episode and let's get a little bit of clay uh, so let's make like another 500 uh, and then uh, how many blackstone blocks can we make yeah let's go ahead and make those I'm pretty sure we'll use all of them so we can throw that soil back. All right, so let's, that's gonna take it a while to get those blocks up. I don't wanna place the iron bars until I get those, uh, those blocks. Um, also, is it, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that was exactly what I thought. Uh, it was eleven on each side. Um, sometimes I do these, but uh, it's flagstone. But I don't. I want a clear shot. I want to be able to stand here and shoot this way. Uh, the wood frames are nice early on, but it's definitely worth it to get those iron bars uh, along here. It, uh, it really gives you a lot more hit points so the the cops don't just do one breath and knock a hole in your floor and you accidentally fall through and you die a horrible, painful death. <laughs> Not that I've had experience in that or anything. Okay, so... How's our stuff coming? Um, let's go ahead and cancel that and put another 250, because that's about where it was at. After our blocks. Oh, 248, I guess. So we can get these guys and uh, place. Place our um, iron bars there. So that's one corner, um, and then we'll just pick these guys up. Um, what I might want to do so that it saves the facing is um, so I don't have to switch those blocks out. Will this lay up, or do I have to? Uh, do advanced. It looks like I have to do advanced rotation. There we go. That's the one we want right there. Oh yeah. This is the good stuff. Excellent. So this one's jacked. We're going to have to repair uh, those wood frames before we can pick them up. Alright, so we're going to put the ones right there. Excellent. And now we don't have to rotate. It's a lot easier to place them like this. I don't know why. Because the the bar is wider on this side. Excellent, excellent. Won't be long now. Our base will be even better than before. I like to go two out on the outside, but you know, um, I didn't have enough materials to go all the way around. Oh. Yeah, iron bars, baby. That's the good stuff right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It'll give us a little bit more um, structure on those corners, uh, get them even more uh, redundant support. <laughs> So the more blocks you have uh, in between those pillars, the more they can afford to lose before they'll collapse. So uh, yeah, it might be good to eventually upgrade these corners right here uh, with uh, the, the flagstone or cement uh, just for 
the support up here so that um, even if they do knock this whole thing down, it will be supported up here uh, along those, which will be less likely to take that much damage. Um, but just so if they like knock this whole section out and these, it'll still be supported up here with with those, which would be really nice. Uh, that would be nice to have. And uh, getting these, we'll upgrade these too. So it's, wow, it's 20, 2020. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here. I'm gonna work some more on this. Uh, probably finish up the flagstone on, on the outside. Uh, maybe do some actually i'll probably go out and gather more materials that's what i usually do and i can do this while it's nighttime because i'll be safe here so anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here uh come back and see us next time for episode 17 where we do more uh we're gonna go probably check out um one or both of those nearby POIs and see if they have any good loot for us next episode. So come check that out. Um, remember to uh, leave a comment, you know. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think about what, what I'm doing or what you're doing. What what How is your base going for seven days to die? Were the hordes horrible like they were in mine where <laughs> you died repeatedly? <laughs> let me know. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.